Uh, well, I never thought. Get cherry busted. Oh, well, I never thought she'd do oh. that. It's pretty normal. After all the shit you talk to her about, men and sex and stuff like it makes you bald and all that. Yes, but that shit is too. Oh, Olga, please, can't you shut up once in a while? And that, is that gold enough for you, huh? Oh, throw that awful thing away. That happens to be mine. What are you doing here? You see for yourself. He isn't here. Good for you, though. Okay. You coming home? If you come back, I'll give you a lovely present. Listen, Baldy, I don't take bribes. What I want is to get laid. <laughs> What would your mother say if she heard you talk like that? My mother's dead. So what? So you want to get laid? Yeah. I got a good one at home. Ooh. Do I really have to, uh... Listen, I'm not forcing you. Oh, God, you're just taking a load off my chest. <laughs> <laughs> you still baldy bean over there? <laughs> you. Thank you. What a pain. Still only 15. It'll never end. Oh, sorry. It'll never fit. Rosebud? Wash my hair. Oh, God, twice in three days. Well, I just want to see. Get engaged. I don't know if we ought to. My darling, we must live intensely. But darling, don't you fear your father will oppose our union because of my faith? 
But, Yaakov, what religion are you then? I'm Jewish, my darling. Didn't you know that? Oh, my God. If I had known, my father will forbid our marriage. He's terribly religious. We can't get married in a church and in a synagogue. We'll be outcasts. But, darling, we have the same God. My poor darling, you will never make my father believe that. And what about your mother? So you don't need any help? No, thanks. Chauvinist pig. Hmm. hmm. Now let's see. Voltaire's Candide. As if there were any gardens left to cultivate. Oh, not even a blade of grass. Fab Comics, my favorite. Let's see. Let me see. No. Don't touch. Reserve for adults. Crib notes for the math exam tomorrow. Very important. This is a little box of cotton balls for when some people are doing crazy things with their bodies when I'm trying to sleep. I wonder why they even bother having X-rated movies. Go ahead, you with the big thing. Hi. Hello, Max. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Just look at that. Your tummy. <laughs> Here, put this in your tummy. Ah, oh, thank you. Why aren't you working, my little charming truck driver? Because I have found something better to do, Miss Horsebud. Mm, unemployment, maybe? No, no. Yeah. I'm recuperating. Because I can't drive my truck from Paris to Tehran every day. Oh. What if we bought a little dog? To a what? To my truck. Oh. A what? Well, a little dog. You know, a dachshund, a doberman. Little doberman. A doberman weighs a thousand kilos. Uh, in that case, not a doberman. A uh, dachshund. Do you, do you know how much that costs a dog? No. First you have to buy it. Then you have to feed it. And who's going to walk it? Well, yeah, that's one of them right there. Ah, really cute. Really? We've got an appointment. Won't you come in? Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Your daughter must have told you that we were going to come by to see the little puppies. Oh, but of course, of course. You must be little Isabel, aren't you? Uh, yes, that's right. But uh, everyone calls me Rosebud, you know. Oh, charming. And you must be her mother. Uh, no. <laughs> Boys or two girls? Or the other case I don't even want to imagine. I'm afraid it's the other case you don't want to imagine. Oh, oh God. And what are you going to call them? Pee and carpet? Sex and maniac? Sodom and Gomorrah. What else? <laughs> I know it is. Nobody works the way they used to. Yeah. Uh, can't you settle for a few? No, no, I already read it. Oh. Well, where did you put the sponge? Thank <laughs> you. 
you got me on the tower? Very funny. Uh-oh, the fuss is coming. Hello, Bookman. Hello, Max. How are you? Uh, you two know each other. You bet. <laughs> I always feel funny when I wait around here. Always? You're trying to see you wait uh, around here every day? I'm just saying that I'm here once in a while. Okay, okay, don't explain. Well, let's say uh, once or twice a week. Yes, yes. Hey, watch, that old man's here again. <laughs> 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 oh, that's very, very funny. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Very funny, very, very funny. Yes, it is. Eh? How old is that kid, 14, 15? Ah, tell me, how do you know that? It's my business. Oh, I forgot. I always forget. No, not always. That's all there. Well, well. Ah. Huh? <laughs> okay, feathers. I'd like you to meet my best and oldest pal, Sylvester. Big Sylvester. Is Dean absent today? Yeah, she's a little late. How did you spend your day? Like I spend all the rest of them. <sighs> They're full of shit, those old bags and teach. Where the hell is my sister going to put me in a school where he can breathe? Or Mary Jane's free and you have sit-down strikes, sex lessons, and gym and athletics. And what would you do for gym and athletics? I'd play ball, man. What else? Well, maybe you and I should have a talk. Hello. Yep. Sylvester's a pretty weird name. You know, uh, I got used to it. Uh, it sure ain't very common. And uh, what do you want to do uh, later, uh, later on? Later on? Later on, I want to be a great lover. Oh, does it pay well? Eh, you know, it's a living. No, but seriously, I'll have all the guys at my feet. I'll be the queen of New York. Because, you know, Paris is just a suburb. I'll be much more beautiful than my sister, as usual. And a lot more together. At her age, I won't be making it. I'll have already made it. You're on the right track. Thank you. What do you do? Uh, I'm a private detective. Ah, that's great. Uh, I'm a writer, too. Oh, really? Yes. Here. Ah, did you write that? Yeah. Well, is it well known? Would you sign one for me? Oh, sure, sure. Please. I thought you'd given up writing pornos. Very funny. To the most delicious.